Okay, let's talk about scary, all right? A um, little girl named Dorothy came by my house, said she arrived in Arizona by way of a tornado. And uh, would I kid you? Maybe, but Randy Servany wouldn't. He's a, he is the president's professor at Arizona State University in the geography, or the geology department. Geography, the geography. The geography department. Why is that about weather? Uh, geography involves everything on our planet and the atmosphere as well. So, Does that uh, include northern Arizona where we actually had a tornado, not a dust devil, but a tornado just a few days ago? Yeah, and, and people might be kind of surprised, but we actually do get tornadoes here in Arizona. We average about three to four tornadoes in the state every year. So we don't get the big ones like they have in Oklahoma, but we definitely do have tornadoes here. Well, is it because of the fact that they aren't the same size that they have in Iowa and Nebraska and Oklahoma, or is it because they mostly frequent the areas that aren't populated? Probably a little of both. That, uh, um, and a lot of times people will mistake them for dust devils that... Uh, and the difference? The difference is that a dust devil is formed from the ground. It's surface heating that, that is associated with that. A tornado always is associated with a severe thunderstorm. So in order to get that tornado that we had up on the, uh, the plateau uh, a couple weeks ago, that actually was the result of a severe thunderstorm that was up there. Did it have anything whatsoever to do with a change in weather, or have there always been tornadoes in Arizona? There have always been tornadoes here in Arizona. Normally, we get them uh, more towards the, the winter time. We're gonna have them in January and February, and we probably will again this year. We'll have some more tornadoes. But uh, we can occasionally get them associated with a monsoon. Okay, I was mentioning Dorothy stopping by because of the tornado. We said, wait a minute, hold it in Arizona. That's unusual. It's also unusual that I had a man with a large boat that had a number of animals <laughs> on it just a couple of weeks ago. That was a huge rain for just about any city, much less Arizona. That was kind of uncommon, wasn't it? Th that was a record breaker, actually. This, uh, we, we haven't obviously finished the month yet, but uh, we're not gonna get any more rain today. But why did it happen? Why so much water? Well, what we had is the remnants of a couple tropical storms that have hit us over the last month. And while they weren't hurricanes when they came ashore, the moisture from all of those storms actually worked their way up into the Phoenix metropolitan area, and then they dumped out tons of rain. And it actually turns out that, that we are actually in the wettest October that we have on record, and it's one of the wettest months that we've had on, on record Total. Well, the southeast is also experiencing just terrible, catastrophic weather. That is unusual, even there in a place that's used to hurricanes, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. What, what we're finding is that more and more uh, hurricanes, tropical cyclones, are producing more rain. And that seems to match up with what we kind of expect to happen as our climate continues to warm, that these kind of storms are going to be wetter. And that means more flooding, unfortunately. And what about winter coming up in Arizona? Predict. Well, um, if you've liked the month of October, you're gonna love the winter time because basically we are looking at a very wet winter. So um, with any luck, we're gonna make a pretty big dent in our drought and start to fill up some of these reservoirs. See, here's a TV weatherman that you can really trust. He doesn't have one of those <laughs> electronic maps. He just sits here and talks about it uh, because of his academic position at Arizona State University, Randy Survey.